to be honest with you, this alone should be able to resolve the issue. But I just want to move on to say, I have tried to check all of these, but issues still remain. I can confirm that everything is okay. I apologize for the inconvenience you're experiencing with the missing dial pad in Microsoft Teams despite checking all the recommended steps. Let's explore a few additional troubleshooting options. Clear Teams Cache. Sometimes cache data can cause issues. Hey everyone, I hope you are doing very well today. My name is Joseph. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer and I'm very happy to be on this screen with you today. If you are a support engineer or an administrator of M365, I want to say congratulations. I see this very interesting and I'm very happy to share with you. Those days when you have to jump from one Telegram group to one WhatsApp chat to Facebook page asking questions because you have an issue you are trying to resolve, I think that is already over right now because of the presence of the co-pilot integration into Teams, into Edge browser. So how you do it? You see this here. Uh, if you have a new browser open, just down here you see the co-pilot icon here. So you click on open co-pilot. And then when you come down here, you have options to type and you have option for voice prompt, right? So I'm just going to have a word with the co-pilot and it will help me suggest resolution for the problem I'm going to post to it now. And it's about diepad missing from Teams. Diepad missing from Teams. The dial pad in Microsoft Teams is essential for making outbound calls, especially when using public switch telephone network PSTN functionality. If you're experiencing issues with the dial pad being missing, here are some steps to troubleshoot. Check licensing and configuration. Ensure that the following conditions are met for the dial pad to appear. The user has a Teams license assigned. The user has a Teams phone system MCOEV license assigned. The user has Microsoft Calling Plan Operator Connect or is enabled for direct routing. The user has Enterprise Voice enabled. The user is homed online and not in Skype for business on-premises. The user has Teams Calling Policy enabled with Allow Private Calling equals true. If any of these conditions are not met, adjust the settings accordingly. Diagnostic Tools Use the following diagnostic tools to identify and resolve issues. Microsoft Remote Connectivity Analyzer tool, admins can run the Teams PSTN calling dial pad test in the context of the affected user. Microsoft 365 Support Self-Diagnostics tool, admins can verify possible issues affecting the dial pad within the tenant. Note that these tools may not be available for certain Microsoft 365 environments. Specific scenarios, enterprise voice disabled, if the diagnostic shows that the user isn't enabled for enterprise voice, toggle the setting off and back on using PowerShell. PowerShell. Set CS phone number assignment identity user enterprise voice enabled dollar false. Set CS phone number assignment identity user enterprise voice enabled dollar true. With my experience of over two years supporting just Microsoft Teams, I can tell you for a fact that 90% of the issues that happen with diapad missing from Teams, this is going to resolve it. But let us see the remaining 10% um, chance that the case is not due to this. We still want to tell Copilot that even after ensuring that all these conditions are met, the issue still persists. But to be honest with you, this alone should be able to resolve the issue. But I just want to move on to say, I have tried to check all of these, but issues still remain. I can confirm that everything is okay. I apologize for the inconvenience you're experiencing with the missing dial pad in Microsoft Teams despite checking all the recommended steps. Let's explore a few additional troubleshooting options. Clear Teams Cache. Sometimes cache data can cause issues. Try clearing the Teams Cache by following these steps. One. Close Microsoft Teams completely, right-click the Teams icon in the system tray and choose Quit. Navigate to the following folder, percent app data percent backslash Microsoft backslash Teams. Delete all files and folders within this folder. Restart Teams and check if the dial pad appears. Check Teams version and update. Ensure that you're using the latest version of Microsoft Teams. If not, update Teams to the latest version and see if the issue persists. 
Check browser version if using Teams web app. If you're using the Teams web app, ensure that your browser is up to date. Some features may not work correctly if your browser is outdated. Try a different device or platform. If possible, try accessing Teams from a different device, e.g. mobile phone, tablet, or another computer. This will help determine if the issue is specific to your current device. Contact Microsoft Support. If none of the above steps resolve the issue, consider reaching out to Microsoft Support. They can provide personalized assistance and investigate any potential back-end issues. Remember that technology can be finicky, and sometimes even the best troubleshooting steps don't immediately solve the problem. If you've exhausted all options, contacting Microsoft Support is the next best step. Feel free to share any additional details or observations, and I'll do my best to assist you further. This, this line of statement here tells you actually that this guy is a very kind guy. So let us see that 5% of the remaining 10 percentage have again been checked by this and there are still further concern that you want to check further. What else can we check? Let's see what Copilot is going to do. This still did not resolve the issue. Can you suggest more option to try? I apologize for the continued inconvenience. Let's explore a few additional troubleshooting options to address the missing dial pad issue in Microsoft Teams. Check network connectivity. Ensure that your network connection is stable. Sometimes network issues can affect Teams functionality. Try connecting to a different network if possible and see if the dial pad appears. Reinstall Microsoft Teams. Uninstall Microsoft Teams from your device and then reinstall it. This process can help resolve any corrupted files or settings. To uninstall Teams. On Windows, go to Settings, Apps, Find Microsoft Teams, click Uninstall. On macOS, drag the Teams app from the Applications folder to the trash. After uninstalling, download and install Teams again from the official website. Check for third-party apps or add-ins. Sometimes third-party apps or add-ins can interfere with Teams functionality. Disable any third-party integrations or browser extensions related to Teams and check if the dial pad reappears. Try a different user account. Log into Teams using a different user account, if available. This will help determine if the issue is specific to your account or system-wide. Inspect Teams logs. Teams generates logs that can provide insights into any errors or issues. You can access these logs by following these steps. 1. Close Teams completely. Press Windows plus R, type percent app data percent backslash Microsoft backslash Teams and press Enter. Look for the Logs folder and review the log files for any relevant error messages. If you find any errors, share them with your IT support or Microsoft support for further analysis. Contact your IT support. If you're part of an organization, reach out to your IT support team. They can investigate any specific configurations or policies that might be affecting the dial pad. Remember that troubleshooting can be a process of elimination, and sometimes it takes a combination of steps to identify and resolve the issue. If none of these options work, consider reaching out to Microsoft support for personalized assistance. Feel free to provide any additional details and I'll continue assisting you. I hope you want to start clapping for Microsoft Copilot integration into Edge, right? If you've not subscribed to this channel, I think it's time for you to do that. And if you've not liked this video, please hit on the like button. Expect more of this to come and thank you for encouraging me. I see you at the top. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye from here.